All right, guys, so we have arrived here in Davao and it is our first time together here. Yeah, it's our first time <coughs> ever in mainland Mindanao. We've only ever been to some Mindanao islands like Camagin and Shargao. So first time for both of us, I'm super excited. We actually got here last night and when we arrived, there was actually an earthquake and it was 7.6. It yeah. was so strong, there was like ambulance in our hotel, yeah. this and that. Luckily, we didn't actually experience the earthquake because we were actually in the air at the time mm. of the earthquake. Um, there were some aftershocks, but we didn't actually feel anything. But hopefully everyone's okay. Mm. And yeah, I'm so excited. But we are actually staying at Sans Hotel. It's very nice and the bed is so comfortable. But right now we're gonna head over to our first stop and it's gonna be a cafe because we haven't had breakfast and it's currently lunch. So we're just waiting for a grab now and then we'll see you there. Look, yeah. Oops. Kamusta yung earthquake kagabi ko ya? Okay naman, wala na kanina. Uh, medyo malakas talaga yun. Malakas? Uh, actually, nagbabiyahe kami. Mm -hmm. Ay, nag nagagrap ako nun. Naramdaman ko talaga. And then, klaro yung electric wires. Oo, oh, gumaganon. Wow. Next stop kami din. Grabing lakas nun. Lakas? Mas malakas pa nung... Two weeks ago? Alright, so we were talking with the taxi driver and he said it was so scary last night because it happened at 10.30pm but now we have arrived at our first cafe which is Wen's Cafe. Ah, I'm hungry, let's go. This cafe is actually so nice, so well designed. It's kind of giving me like Korea cafe vibes. It looks amazing. It's kind of got like this library style. I think you could definitely, is this a work cafe? Mm, I think it's a work cafe. And the food and drinks, not too badly priced. I think we paid 680 for two meals and two drinks, but obviously they're like coffees and things, which are normally a bit more expensive. But yeah, let's see how it tastes. All right, so the food was amazing. This place is actually so nice. But now we're going to go to our next spot, which is going to be People's Park. So let's go. Look at that. Oops. All right, guys, so we have made it at People's Park. Park. However, we had to go back to our mm. hotel to drop our backpack because it's not allowed. Yeah, there's a few other things not allowed. I think like you're not allowed like a, a black flask mm. um, and I can't remember the other things. I think there's four things that aren't allowed. But I am seeing people, if you've got a handbag, I think it's okay. It's mm. just the backpack. But anyway, guys, when you enter the People's Park, there's actually a huge arch where you go through and it's got a big statue of the Philippines eagle as well as a durian and the walling walling which is the queen of Philippines orchids there's so also cool. like a huge building that's also like got like durian over yeah. the top of it it's so weird <laughs> I've never seen anything like it but it's super cool this place is really big actually and it mm. seems like they've really sort of thought about things and they've added a lot of statues and different mm. monuments I guess yeah um but yeah it's really interesting I've never been to a park that looks like this and there's a lot of people here just chilling relaxing bringing picnics and having fun with friends and family But if you guys didn't know, Davao is actually home for the best and smelliest fruit, which is durian. That's why there's loads of like durian statues, buildings. But yeah, and, and Zara's gonna Zara will let you know later how how smelly and how delicious durian is. Because the last time I had durian, I nearly threw up, guys. Nearly threw up, and that was in Malaysia, and it was like a no, fried oh, yeah, durian yes. on um, donut. on a donut. Because I thought, I was like, oh, this smells so nice. It's not going to yeah. taste like durian. And I took a bite of it. Four. I kid you not, it stunk. Nearly <laughs> threw up. And then after seeing his reaction, I did not want to try <laughs> it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this place is actually so clean. And it tells a lot about the culture. Mm. Look, guys, even the statues are eating a durian. I wonder what they're cooking there. Probably a durian soup or something. <laughs> 
<laughs> so they've got a place here where you can do some workouts, which is so cool. And there's loads of people jogging, so they obviously love their health and fitness here. But they've got like pull-ups bar, they've got some dips bar, some monkey climbing. So I'm going to give it a go just to show Zoe that I can actually do a pull-up. Oh, that's easy. Wait, hey, hold on. Way easy. Too easy, too easy, man. Last time I like this. <laughs> Just hang. Hmm? Easy. You're going red though. Huh? You're going red though. <laughs> So one thing I've noticed, not just in this park, but as we've been going around the city, mostly in grabs, I've noticed that this is probably the cleanest city I think we've been to oh, in the yeah. Philippines. We've never been anywhere where there is literally no rubbish or no trash anywhere. I've literally not seen a single piece of trash in this park or as we've been going around. And I think that's just amazing how clean it is. I was even speaking to one of the grab drivers and he was telling me that they have a real big thing about cleanliness here mm, and they really good, try and good. make sure that everything stays looking nice and it's part of like, they want to keep up that reputation as well. So it's really, I think that's amazing. And guys, if you didn't know, Davao is actually the second largest city outside Metro Manila. Mm, so it's huge. So I don't know if it's just clean like where we are or if the whole of Davao is like this. Look at that. Can you use black black charcoal? What is that? Charcoal? Mangustine. Ah, mangustine. Ah, and what is this? Avocado durian. Avocado durian. Can you mix it? 30 for that. 30? So get fed it here. I'll try to mix it here. So I have got the avocado, durian, and the mango sting, which is the black charcoal. All in one cone. Kunti lang durian ko ya. Salamat, thank you. Isa lang, isa lang kaya. So the white one is durian. The green one is avocado and then the black one is black charcoal which is mango steam. Oh, so wait, you've got durian here and here. Yep, I've got two durian. Oh, that was a mango steam. Oh my god, that is so nice. Is that the black one? Ah! It's melting because it's so hot today. Alright, let's try the avocado, uh, the durian. No? Mm. <laughs> That's the face of... No. <laughs> It's nice, but... <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> Even as ice cream, it's a really strong smell. It's quite milky. That's not for me. It's big, big, big old. <laughs> Ooh, the mango steam though. Oh, that's good. All right, where's the... Avocado's good too. It's just the um, durian. All I can describe it to as is like cheesy feet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that mango steam. Mm. If you're in Davao, you should definitely get the charcoal mango steam. That's incredible. So this was 10 pesos per scoop. So because we got three different flavors, 30 pesos overall, not bad at all. And this kind of ice cream from the car in the street is called dirty ice cream. It's not actually dirty. I don't really know why they call it that, but it's really cool. Why do they call it that? I don't know. Leave a comment down below, guys. Why yeah. do they call it dirty ice cream? Because it's not like the ice cream is actually dirty, you know? I think it's just because it's like done in the street. I'm not sure. Alright guys, so we came to this cafe and it's called Blue Great Cafe for one specific thing. A durian coffee. Imagine that. A durian coffee. Wow. So it's called Durian Coffee Chino. And that's not the only thing they've got. They've also got durian and cream, um, durian tea, and a durian Arctic Blast. Mm. They really do love the durian here in Davao, guys. They literally put it on everything. 
It seems like a durian vlog, not a first impression of that bow. <laughs> So we have got our durian coffee chino and you can literally smell the fumes from here and it is strong oh my days so we actually saw this place from will dasevich's vlog so check that out thank you will for this durian coffee but we're gonna have to taste test it you can't really smell it though up close it just smells like cream coffee That's weird. He balances it out. So the coffee and the durian. And I was talking to the member of staff and she said there's no milk in it. It's just, it's literally just durian and an espresso. Ugh. Does it taste it's, it's like durian? Kinda you, it's not that strong. Like the one, the dirty ice cream was stronger. Weird. I don't like coffee, so we're already off to a bad start, but... It's really not that bad. I see what you're saying, like, they complement each other quite well, because mm. the coffee actually overpowers the durian. You just have a slight hint of durian. It's very subtle right at the end. It smells worse than it actually tastes. Yeah, the coffee's really strong and then you just get that slight aftertaste of durian. I actually quite like it. I don't normally like coffee, but I like this coffee. That's weird. I prefer this to normal coffee. How weird. Oh, oh that's the durian. There's like actual bits of durian. I thought it was cream, but it's durian, isn't it? Okay, guys, I highly recommend, if you want to like ease your way into trying durian, to try durian coffee because it's, it's, I feel like it's subtle, it kind of like nicely prepares you for what's next. Alright guys, so of course, Zoe's got a cake as well. That's quite a big one that. Whoa. I got it, because I thought I wouldn't like that, and that I would need something to balance it out. So we came back to the hotel to get ready so that we're gonna go to the night market However, we were literally just chilling in the hotel next minute. We were just swaying It's getting less Oh my god The earthquake feels so weird Look at that. It doesn't feel as scary as I thought but like I don't think this is a strong one It's just swaying. Do we leave? It stopped. Yeah, like it wasn't what I thought it would feel like. I looked at Zaha and he thought I was moving the bed. Yeah. And I was just like, Zaha, it's another earthquake. It's an earthquake. But he had his headphones on and couldn't hear me. And then um, it took me a while to process it. It wasn't what I thought it would feel like. And mm. we've just Googled it. It was 5.8. Yeah. I don't know if that's like an aftershock or like another earthquake but um, it wasn't what I thought it would be. No, it wasn't as scary really. as I thought, but maybe it's because like, there's already been earthquakes and so maybe I knew. Yeah. And also maybe because it wasn't too strong. We were just swaying. Mm. But right now we are outside our hotel, evacuated, and we're just waiting for the next uh, message from the staff. One hour later. All right guys, so after the earthquake shenanigans, we have arrived here at Rojas Night Market because we are hungry and we want some street food. Yeah, I'm so hungry. Let's go. We're just gonna check our bearings, have a look at everything, and then we'll devour the food. All right, so walking around, a lot of the stores are selling very similar stuff. Um, one of them is like, you know, the typical Filipino barbecue. So we're kick-starting with Filipino barbecue. We have got some chicken isao. We have got, zargot actually, chicken skin. And we've also got some pecho and then some rice. I have not had Filipino barbecue in ages, so I'm really excited for this. Oh, God. Mmm. Mmm, I've missed this so much. Filipino barbecues are elite. 
You guys do barbecued meat really well. The flavor, oh good. Try the chicken skin. I only ordered one because I wasn't sure and I didn't want to order a lot. Mmm. It's quite good actually. This is good. I thought it'd be more crispier, but still good. Mm. Got some chicken isa, which is chicken intestine. Mm. I can't taste any um, aftertaste, which is good. It means that they've cleaned it well. <laughs> but anyway, Zoe's nearly finishing off the pet show, and we're only sharing one. So I need to. So that food was actually so nice. So now it is time to try the official street food. I can't wait, I just want some quick, quick to be honest. Alright, so I've got some quick, quick because I've been craving quick, quick ever since we arrived here in the Philippines. So it cost 20 pesos and there's four quay legs. So yeah. Oh my god, I have missed this. Mm. It's going to be really hot. Yeah. So we picked up some mochi. Now there were eight different flavors. It was 25 pesos per three. And we went for a mix of everything plus an extra one. Now we've decided we're going to do a lucky dip and not know what we're going to be trying until we put it in our mouth. I'll give it a little shake. I think it's Uber. All right, let's give this a go. What have we got here? <laughs> As if we got it first one. <laughs> it's really well. It doesn't smell. It stinks. <laughs> I don't want it. I'm gonna ruin my shape, but look at that. Oh. <laughs> Give me another one. <laughs> Just to get rid of the shape, bar, man. <laughs> of course, I got the durian first. Bajo. <laughs> Bajo. Let's try this one. <laughs> the extra one must have been a durian. No, it's not durian. I can't smell it. That is durian. <laughs> I don't want that one. Give me another. <laughs> No. Right. <laughs> Thank God. Got a dark one, which means it's mango steam. Charcoal. Charcoal. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> it's much better. All right, so we had a great time here at Rojas Night Market, but now we're gonna head over to our hotel and get some rest, and then we'll tell you our first impression of Davao City. Right, we are now back in our hotel. And today has actually been such a great time exploring Davao, getting our first impressions. Mm. We didn't do too much as we woke up quite late because we kept having to evacuate yeah. last night because of the earthquakes. Um, but yeah, we've had such a great day. Everyone has been so nice, yeah. especially the taxi drivers. All so friendly. Even not the grab taxi guys, like all the taxis here, they're so honest. Like you can literally trust them. Mm, and some of them even were like, like when it was just like two pesos, like 152 mm. pesos, they'd be like, keep two so pesos. So precise. Like, yeah, they would be, they they were so, so, so nice. Everywhere seemed so clean, like hardly any rubbish. The night market was so nice. Everyone's so friendly. And yeah, I've just loved it, honestly. So Davao is actually a very, very big city, guys. So that's why we didn't do that much because there's actually quite a lot to do here, but mostly outside of the city. We're actually gonna do one of the main activity here in Davao City and we're gonna go there tomorrow. So make sure to keep an eye on that because yes. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. But anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video and you are safe from the earthquake. <laughs>
Yes, it's been a great first glimpse at mainland Mindanao. It honestly just feels like anywhere else in the Philippines. Mm. If anything, it seems like more quieter than Manila. Manila. It doesn't seem as busy. The traffic's pretty good. Although someone said it's because it's a Sunday. Yeah. But yeah, it really seems like a nice and peaceful city. <laughs> I feel like peaceful is probably not the word. I feel like you're all going to be going like, that was not peaceful. But today seemed pretty peaceful. And it's just amazing that after such a big earthquake last night, today is just like any other day. And even after our earthquake earlier, we went out to the market. It's as if nothing ever happened. And it just goes to show how prone this area is to natural disasters and how Filipinas just always get on with it and don't let it stop them. Mm. But anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's vlog. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, press that notification bell on. And we'll see you in the next Mindanao vlog. Bye. Peace.